Hey everybody, good morning. I know I'm catching everybody off guard, but I'm so excited. I have to share a couple of things with you. I'm compelled to tell you a story, but before I do, I want to tell you a little story about what happened to me today. Okay, I need to calm myself because I, I it's like I'm kind of a little scattered. I have so many things to do, but I want to spend this time with you. So anyway, this morning, I'm going to walk my dogs. And I'm standing at the top of these stairs. It's so loud out here, I'm sorry. I'm, st <laughs> I'm standing at the top of these stairs, and all of a sudden, this Japanese beetle comes and lands on my head. And all of a sudden, I just felt like I don't know, like I was. Some it's always something. I'm always. I'm trying to get to you. I'm trying to get to you, and then the, this crazy connection goes out. Anyway, so I'm standing at the top, of, the top of the stairs, and this Japanese beetle comes and lands on my head, right? And all of a sudden, I felt like I was crowned, and this overwhelming feeling came over me, like I was at the top of a stadium with all of these people, and there was really nothing there. It was. It was just the park. And it was it was magical. I'm telling you, it's it's like not an imagination, but li literally like a feeling. And these are the moments. It's like God is talking to you because it's like this 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 energy that fills you up and makes you so excited. <laughs> There's just so much noise, but it makes you so excited for what's to come and you have absolutely no idea But you know, it's good. Isn't it crazy a bug made me feel that way. That's nature Okay, so anyway my story I want to tell you about what happened to me on this day I went in to the salon to get my hair done When I walked in there was a woman getting her hair done in the seat with my girlfriend now her hair was all up in her um, dye, the coloring. She had the drape across her. And when I walked in and saw her, I'm telling you this woman looked like the epitome of the witch in The Wizard of Oz. And my, I, I was just looking at her like, oh my gosh, you, you know, just, I mean, it was just like her nose, her facial, so everything about her was like the witch. I hope you can hear me okay. There's just all this crazy traffic. Anyway. So now the woman starts to tell me her story and she's talking about her marriage. She's about, she was like in her early 60s and um, she had black hair. Like I said, she had no makeup on. And at first it was hard for me to really focus because I'm just, I'm amazed by, you know, the resemblance of, of this character. So now she's telling me about her marriage and how, you know, she's been married over 30 years and her and her husband don't talk. They live in the same household, but they literally do not speak to each other. They have separate rooms. She comes home, the conversation is, what would you like to eat? Gets him something to eat, he takes it back to his room, he eats, and their whole life is separate. And I'm listening in disbelief, like, why would you continue to do that, you know? So they've had absolutely no relations at all that husband and wife do. And she goes on to tell me how recently it was, um, there was a wedding that she was to attend with his family. And she was waiting to see if he would go. And he said, yeah, he was going to go. Well, she ended up going late, or no, I'm sorry, not late, by herself. And she was telling me, she was standing there taking a picture with the bride and the groom and his family. And he was nowhere around. And she was pretty upset about it that he didn't come. So later on when she got home, she asked him, why didn't you go to the wedding? And he said, I was there. He had showed up. He had put the envelope in the little pouch thing, got a drink and left. And he never said a word to his wife. And I sat there with disbelief and I'm wondering to myself, why would anybody put themselves through that? Well, the whole time that she's sharing this story with me, my girlfriend is doing her hair, right? And I, so I don't remember her like getting up out of the chair, going over to the sink, washing her hair. But she did all that and then she came back and she's continuing to tell me all of these things that her, how sad she is to be in this relationship, this loveless relationship. And Linda is, is 
you know, washed her hair, is drying her hair, and, and she's fixing it up and stuff. And, and I asked her, I said, why do you stay? And she said, well, she goes, his family loves me. Here's a woman who's been married for 30 years. They have no children together. He doesn't show her any love or affection. They have absolutely no companionship whatsoever. But she stays because his family loves her. That's how strong and powerful love is. When that is our only reason to give up everything else, the love that we should have, to hold on to something so small. She doesn't realize that, that family is going to continue to love her regardless. She doesn't have to sacrifice her whole life for it. So anyway, the story was breaking my heart, but at the end, when Linda took off the drape and her hair was done, she stood up and she was like, I don't, she was, I'm telling you, she was like in her early 60s, she stood up and she had the most wonderful stature. Like she was thin, and she stood up tall, she didn't hunch over at all. You couldn't tell her age. And that's when I realized, oh my God, you are really attractive. Right in front of my eyes, this woman went from being the wicked witch to something that I was like, wow, why are you living your life this way? When you have so much more of life to live, you're beautiful. There's no reason for it. It was a magical moment because I got to witness right there somebody change right in front of my eyes. And the point of my story is, it's the same for all of us. We have to not be so hung up on the way we think we look on our appearance. What we should really be most focused on is our character and our spirit. Okay, so are we back? That's the problem with these live videos. But it's, it's literally the only time I have. And I, you know, anyway, I want to spend this time with you. So what my point was is that it's your character. We have to stop focusing so much on the external, like what is wrong with the way we look and remember how we're actually being perceived. It's the love we have for each other. It's the way we treat each other. It's our stories. It's the way we we talk to each other. It's It's the way our heart shows. That's when we look at each other and go, wow, you are really attractive. Or, e, you know what, I thought you were really beautiful until you opened your mouth. So for everyone out there who is concerned so much about the way you look, remember, it's happening to all of us. Every single day we're getting a little bit older. But don't worry about it concentrate more on getting better more loving you know they say you have what a few seconds to make an impression with anybody right it's, it's because of that it's because when people see you you're vibrating and you have a certain energy about you that is saying that you know you are beautiful kind loving gentle or there's something not quite right about you you're obviously not happy um, having a bad day or maybe you're just a negative person and you don't want to be that way. Trust me. We can all be so beautiful and handsome in our lifetime, in this lifetime. It doesn't matter what you think you look like. Stop concentrating on your flaws. You are beautiful. Your soul is beautiful. Concentrate on that. Watch what you say. Don't let an ugly word come out of your mouth. Love each other, build your character, and all of this is going to change. And you will get the responses that you so longingly want for, wish for, anticipate, hope for. When you look around, it's like, wouldn't it be nice if everybody treated you like a king or a queen? If that's what you want, you gotta act for it. I mean, act like it, be the king or queen. So again, I apologize about the connection. You know, I just I have to go on the run. I gotta give you these things, but I love you all. I hope you receive the message okay. I apologize for all, you know, all that interruption. 
but honestly if I had to wait until I sat there in front of a camera to do this stuff and then edit it and put it on here you'd never get it so anyway I love you love you love you all I want you to have a beautiful day wonderful Monday I will see you soon bye bye